Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello guys. Okay, let's do it. Question February 2022 together. Okay, resident status. You guys can refer to questions number one, D. Okay, before we proceed, let's take a look on our required. Okay, determine the tax resident status of franchise Yap for the relevant years of assessment. 2017 until YA 2021. Meaning to say when you prepare your format, guys. Okay, our standard format start from click column YA, uh, period of stay, number of the status, sections, and reason. Uh, make sure your answer start from 2017 until 2021 as being instructed here. Okay, and then provide the relevant section and reason to support your answer. Okay, now we read the question. Uh, Francis Yap is a Singaporean who is currently working at a well-known film production company in Malaysia. So first of all, when we analyze the first sentence here, guys, we know that she, okay, she or he, uh, this one, he is, okay, he. Okay. He is a Singaporean, not Malaysian. But does it matter? No. Because the way we determine the status in Malaysia is by looking at how many days you stay in Malaysia for that year. Isn't it? Okay, fine. And then, make sure that he is working in Malaysia. Okay, company in Malaysia. Okay, fine. And then, his expertise is required to produce innovation of new technical skill in producing actions movie. Wow, okay. This innovation is able to reduce the cost of production and increase the quality of camera lighting. I imagine he is someone uh, who is expert eh, uh, about making movies. Okay. And then his period of stay in Malaysia is as follows. Okay, you are given year, period of stay and remark. Okay, so guys, normally the remark, okay, it could be temporary absent. But you need to identify. Ah, Okay, one by one guys. Okay, let's focus year by year. Start from 2017. Okay, look at our remark here. He went to Paris. Paris of Malaysia. Okay, look at the reason why he was absent. Okay, to so attend short-term training related to a new movie which will be screened in Malaysia from 26 December until 3rd, 3rd January 2018. Ah, okay, guys. First of all, his employment is in Malaysia. He is working in Malaysia. So, when he absent from Malaysia, he went to Paris. The reason why? Attend short-term training related to movie. So, this one is related to his job. Is it definitely confirmed? This is TA. Alright? Okay. So, next. Look at number two. Ah, He went to Singapore. Again, Singapore basically is home country. Okay. Why? Look at the reason why, guys. For his brother's. Wedding ceremony and family gathering from 1st September until 30th September. Okay, is it TA or not? Uh, it, does it fall under service method? No, it help no. How about social visit, everyone? Ah, okay. Social visit, we do have restriction in terms of number of days. Isn't it? So, number of days, the limit is 14 days. So, if you look at here, he went to Singapore starting from 1st September until 30th September. But this one, 30 days, already exceeded 14 days. So, what happened to this period? We assume he is absent from Malaysia. He did not qualify to claim this period as DA. Uh, because such a visit, the limit is only 14 days. So, the whole period here... For September until September, we assume he was absent from Malaysia. Uh, make sure that you guys don't do like this. Eh? Okay, this one 30 days, is it? So, you will do like this. 30 and then 14 days. You assume this is TA. So, the balance another 16 days. This is not a no, guys. Ah, uh, no. This is wrong. 
Okay, under the third category, social visit, the whole period either will become PA or not PA. Alright, so in this case, definitely this is not PA. Alright, next, how about 2020? Okay, he went to Hawaii with his wife for their 10th wedding anniversary. Celebration. Ah, okay, from 11 June to 30 June. Guys, let's calculate. Okay, this one, 30 minus 11 plus 1. So, you will get okay, 30 minus 11 plus 1. So, I got here 20 days. So, 20 days, guys. Okay, is it TA or not? Okay, TA, let's say this one social visit. Because category number 1, number 2, not suitable. Alright, so 20 days ex already exceeded 14 days, isn't it? Because social visit the limit is 14 days. So what happened to this period? He was absent from Malaysia. Okay, uh, so this is not the A. Okay, next. And then 2021, 18 July 2021, he went back to Singapore for good. We need to say he was leaving Malaysia forever and ever. Okay, date is 18 July. Uh, we need to see if you look at period of stay here, he stayed until 17 July uh, because 18 already in Singapore. Alright? Okay, so let's do it 2017. Okay, step number one, guys, we got period of stay. So, for uh, October until uh, December, isn't it? Okay. Followed by 13 December until 25th December. Okay, followed by, don't forget this is TA guys. Uh, TA is from 26 December 2017 until 3rd January 2018. Guys, if you look at the date here, date of our TA overlap to YS. 17 and 18 is it when you record, record year by year. Do not mix up who it is. So, what should we do? Just focus 17 first. Uh, so, 2017, meaning to say 26 December until at the end of the year. Until 31st December. Uh, and then for 2018, you guys record the balance. So, 2018 start from 1st January here until 3rd right? okay, until third January. This is TA. Okay, let's cut it just anymore. 17 done, yeah? Okay, let's crack it. Okay, first row. for October until 3rd December. So, this is not beginning of October, is it? Therefore, October 31 days. So, you guys minus 4, make sure you plus 1. Ah, okay, plus 1, yeah? Okay, and then November 30 days, December until 3rd, okay, plus 3. So, you will get 61 days. Okay, the second row here. 25th, uh, this one is 13 uh, December until 25th December. The same month, right? Okay, so 25, you minus 13, don't forget to plus 1. Uh, so, you get here 13 days. Okay, how about our TA, guys? Okay, 31, you minus 26, and then you plus with 1. So, I believe that you will get... How many days? Okay, you will get 6 days. Okay, 31 minus 26 plus 1. Okay, 6 days. Alright, done. Okay, let's total up. Okay, guys. Look at here with TA, right? Okay, ask yourself. What are we doing right now? Are we doing lean to lean by or are we just simply calculating number of days for YA plus 17? Remember, TA is meant for lean to and lean by. We are not doing lean to and lean by yet. Not yet. Because without number of days, how could you determine the sections? Isn't it? So right now, our process is, our step is, calculate how many days. So when you calculate number of days, do not add TE. Ah, so how many days? 61 plus 13, 74 days. Okay, now, let's try section 7, section 1A. So do we have at least 1A2? No. Okay, we cannot use A. How about B? Okay, B we have two. How about Limbai? Okay, Limbai, do we have 2016? No. Okay, 16 eh? So far, no eh? Uh, good. Because date here start from 2017 eh? Okay, so let's try. How about Link 2? Okay, we Link 2, we need to refer to next year. Okay, before we go to the next year, guys. Okay, let's prepare the date for the next year. 
Ah, uh, just now remember our TA first January until third January. How many days? Three days. A bracket TA. Okay, followed by two thousand eighteen. Ah, uh, fourth January until thirty first August. Followed by okay, this one he was absent from Malaysia, is it? Okay, for my student, I prefer you guys if absent from Malaysia, no need to record this information. Okay, because if you record, you will get confused. So do not record the period he was absent from Malaysia. Ah, okay. Next, first October until thirty first December. Okay, record here. Any more? That's it, isn't it? Okay, now let's calculate. Okay, guys. Okay, this one calculate. Eh? Okay, fourth January until thirty first uh, August. So this is not leap year. Eh? The four January thirty one minus four plus one. February twenty eight, March thirty one, April thirty, May thirty one, June thirty, July thirty one, August until thirty first. Right? Okay, plus thirty one. Then you will get two hundred forty days. Okay. Next, first October until thirty first December. Okay, this one exactly on first. Ah, uh, so October thirty one days, November thirty, December thirty one. Ah, uh, so you will get ninety two days. Okay, go back to two thousand seventeen, guys, because only we're trying to use link two, isn't it? Okay, link two. First condition. Make sure that our taxpayer. Okay, is physically present in Malaysia at least one day in December. Look at here. Do we have at least one day? Yes, actually more than one day, isn't it? We just need at least one day. Okay, first condition satisfied. Okay, second condition, guys. You go down two thousand eighteen. Make sure that our first date is first January. Do we have first January? Okay, look at here, guys. First January, this is TA. Remember, guys, what are we doing right now? We are doing link to any man. We are doing B. So for B, we can use TA as long as before and after TA, our taxpayer is physically present in nature. Ah, uh, let's check it out. Okay, TA start from if you look at here, twenty six December two thousand seventeen, isn't it? Okay, go two thousand seventeen. So before twenty six, do we have twenty fifth? Yes. Okay. Last TA is third January. So after third January, two thousand eighteen year. Okay. Go down here. Do we have fourth January? Yes. Ah, confirm. We can use this TA. Okay. So now we have first January. Okay. One by one, eh? What I need is one hundred eighty two days consecutively. You, we cannot have missing day. Okay. So here we got three days. Just three days, isn't it? Why we need to add today? Because right now we are doing link two. The purpose of TA is you are not in Malaysia, but we can see that you as being in Malaysia. That's why you need to add three days. Okay, now we got three days. Not enough. I want one eight two. Okay, go down. Okay, go down. Make sure period consecutive. Eh? Third January to fourth consecutive, right? Okay, how many days here? Fourth January until thirty first, two hundred forty guys. Three. Plus two forty, we got more than one eight two. I just need one eight two. So very clear that we fulfill condition for link two, isn't it? That's why two thousand seventeen. The answer is resident section seven subsections one b. Okay, how do we give reason? Stay in Malaysia less than one hundred eighty two days. Normally this one you would get one tick, but ah uh, the period is link two. Normally, link to you are giving another one. Okay, link to to which YA guys? Just now, ah, uh, we got help from YA thousand eighty, right? Okay, YA thousand eighty. How many days, guys? One hundred eighty to this. Make sure you give me the word consecutively. Okay, done for two thousand seventeen. How about two thousand eighteen, everyone? Okay, two thousand eighteen. We already recorded number of days. Okay, let's total up, guys. We have TA here. Remember what are we doing? Are we doing link to limbai? No, not anymore. Done. Link to limbai done. Done for two thousand eighteen. Right now, our focus is two thousand eighteen. Okay, so two thousand eighteen, we would like to determine what is the section. So in order to do that, we need to know number of days. Ah, uh, so because we have TA, can we add TA? No, 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 and no, because TA is only used.
for link to and link by. We are not doing link to and link by anymore. Therefore, exclude the 8. So, 240 plus 92, then you will get here 332 days. Very obvious, guys. Okay, can we use A? Yes, definitely, because more than 182. Alright. Okay, so here, how to give reason? Stay in nature for at least 182 days. Okay, next, 2019. 1st January until 30th March. Followed by 1st July until 20th October. Okay, any more? That's it. Okay, tata. Okay, guys. 2019 is not Libya. Okay, so here start from 1st January, isn't it? Okay, January 31, February 28. This one until 30 April plus 30. So, you will get 89 days. Followed by, this one start from 1st July, right? Okay, July 31. August 31. September 30. October 20. Uh, plus 20. So, I got here 112. Okay, total, uh, so 201 days. Very obvious. This is section 7, subsection 1A. Okay, very good, everyone. Okay, how do we give reason? Same as YA 2018. Okay, next. Next is YA 2020. First May until 10 June. Followed by, should we record our remark? No need because he was absent from mission. Okay, just ignore. Okay, followed by 1st July until 31st July. Okay, so how many days, guys? Remember, 2020 is a little year. Be careful, everyone. But we don't have February, yeah? Okay, so March. Okay, start. Uh, this one is my May. Okay, start from 1st May. Okay, May exactly on 1st, right? Okay, May 31. And then June until 10. Okay, plus 10. And then this one, 1st July until 3rd July. Very obvious. This one is the whole July, right? Okay, 31. Total up. So, I got here 72 days. Ah, okay guys. 72 days. Can we use A? No, not enough number of days. Can we use Limbai? Okay, do we have at first at least one day in January 2020? There is no January. Can we use Ling2? Okay, first condition. Stay in Malaysia in December. Physically present in December at least one day. There is no December. Okay, skip. How about C? Stay in Malaysia at least 30 days, but number of days less than 90. Okay, last option, D. Ah, okay, D, guys. Okay, our first condition next year must be resident before we go to next year. Okay, second condition, three immediate preceding years are also resident. So, three immediate, it must start from this one, 2020. So, immediate, it must start from 2019. Okay, one by one. 2019 resident, yes, we got one. 2018 resident, yes, we got two. And then 2017, yes, we got three. So we fulfill the second condition, isn't it? Okay, first condition, we must prepare for the next year because we need to make sure next year is resident. So next year is 2021, isn't it? Okay, so here we go. So 2021, what do we have? 12 April until 17 July, that's it. Okay, total up. Okay, calculate number of days. This one, April, start from 12, eh? Okay, therefore, April 30 days, you minus 12, don't forget to plus 1. May 31, July, eh, uh, June, eh? June 30, July until 17. So, I got here 97 days. Can we use A, guys? No. Uh, link by, we don't even have January. Link to, there is no next year. How about C? Ah, okay. Stay in Malaysia at least 90 days. Do we have 90 days? More than 90. And then 3 out of 4. Okay, are uh, either resident or stay in Malaysia at least 90 days. Okay, 3 out of 4 immediate. Okay, start from 2020. Do we know the status? Not yet. So, we cannot use 2020. But we still have another 3, right? That's why we have 3 out of 4. You have 4 options, you choose 3. Okay, 2020 slash. Okay, how about 2019, guys? Resident, yes, we got one. 2018, resident, we got two. 
in 2017 also resident. Okay, do we fulfill section 7, section 1C? Definitely, isn't it? Okay, so 2021 status is resident. How do we give reason? Okay, stay in Malaysia at least 90 days. Normally, this one is given one day. And three out of four immediate place of the year. Starting from what year? Just now, we cannot use 2020. So, starting from 19, 18, and 17. Or either residence or stay in Malaysia at least 90 days. Okay, guys, why do we do it 2021? Because just now, 2020, we were trying to use D. Okay, D, first condition, guys. Next year is session. Go 2021, resident. Yes, isn't it? That's why 2020, definitely we fulfill section 7, section 1D. Uh, so here, resident, D. Okay, give reason. Next year is resident. So what is next year? YA 2021. And three immediate preceding years, starting from 19, 18, and 17, are also resident. Okay, I guess that's all for uh, first year question February 2022.